the streets up. So I just want to come and say, please stop blaming the city of New Orleans for this pandemic spreading across the southeastern region of Louisiana. Okay, stop blaming the culture because at the end of the day, New Orleans gets 18 million visitors per year. Had this pandemic happened last spring, last summer, last fall, it would have been inevitable that New Orleans would have been greatly affected just like now because of how many tourists come through every year. Out of the 18 million visitors that visit New Orleans each year, only 1.5 million of those visitors were here during Mardi Gras. There's only 12 months in a year. So um, common sense, you all, common sense. I hear people saying they should have canceled Mardi Gras, they should have canceled Mardi Gras, but did anybody go up to Times Square and say that everything should be canceled there? No, listen to what actually took place and went on from the mayor of New Orleans and the actual people from the CDC and the federal government last year. We did cancel events. A lot of stuff has been going on that you all don't even know about because you're on the outside looking in. So stop pointing the finger and stop trying to blame different events and stop blaming the culture of New Orleans on this pandemic. What I can say, though, is the city needs to keep the fuck still and stop moving around. People from all over the world come to New Orleans, California, and New York City. So I want y'all to think about that from all around the world. Now listen up. Experts say, uh, Mayor, that the Mardi Gras celebrations at the end of February in New Orleans uh, may have actually played a role in accelerating the spread of this virus. More than a million people uh, came to your beautiful city at the time. We're showing some video of that right now. At the time, Mayor, did you have any guidance from health experts on the potential risk of coronavirus? Well, you know that uh, the city of New Orleans, as it relates to Mardi Gras, we plan Mardi Gras. It's a, it's a year-long effort. And a part of our unified command is the federal government, uh, Homeland Security, as well as FBI. So in reaching out, meaning my health directors and public safety officials, every step of the way consulted with federal partners as well as the CDC in reference to COVID-19. Uh, the federal government did not issue any red flags, and therefore uh, we move forward with uh, federal agents being a part of our unified command on the ground. And with the first time uh, the city of New Orleans for Mardi Gras, we were at a SEER 2 rating that was an improvement uh, given to us uh, by the federal government. So every step of the way, uh, the federal government has been partners uh, with us with Mardi Gras. Uh, no red flags were given. So absolutely, we move forward. Yeah, you certainly did. Uh, I'll ask you the same question I asked your governor yesterday with hindsight, and we're all obviously a lot smarter with hindsight. Do you think Mardi Gras sure. should have been canceled or postponed this year? Well, with if, if red flags were given, I would say at the federal level, leadership matters. And so while I was the first in the state of Louisiana to stop social gatherings, I had to cancel the St. Patrick's Day parade. You know, all hell broke loose when I did that, but it was necessary. So given data, uh, allowing a science to lead us, it does matter. And leaders on the ground, we rely uh, on the facts to make decisions for the people that we serve. Given no red flags, we move forward in hindsight. If we were given clear direction, we would not have had Mardi Gras, and I would have been the leader to cancel. Yeah, I know that. Uh, I guess the reports are that within a week or two after Mardi Gras, all of a sudden the cases start started emerging in Louisiana. Yes. Obviously, that's very disturbing. I will point out, and uh, we did some checking back on February 12th, the CDC, Dr. Nancy Messonnier, uh, said, uh, and, and I'm quoting her now, we can and should be prepared for this new virus to gain a foothold in the United States. But, but you're saying no one from the federal government came to you and urged you to, uh, to pr at least cancel or, or, or postpone Mardi Gras. That's absolutely correct. And not only that, it was backed up with the response uh, of our national leader. Uh, when it's not taken seriously at the federal level, it's very difficult 
uh, to transcend down to the local level in making these decisions. But when the experts uh, told me uh, that social gatherings would be an issue, I moved forward with canceling them, as well as St. Patrick's Day uh, Parade, as well as our uh, Super Sunday, where our Mardi Gras Indians parade, the suits that they've made, you know, all year long. Uh, so this is something uh, that not only concerns us, but it sets the tone for how leadership matters at every level of government in the United States of America, where mayors are on the front line. Louisiana, as you know, has now reported more than 500 additional cases of coronavirus since yesterday. Is it realistic for the president to suggest that lower risk areas should now relax their social distancing measures? Absolutely not. Uh, relaxing the social distancing measures will take us back and not move us forward. You know, when you're in the middle of the river, going back is just as, as important as moving forward. So we might as well move forward. And uh, as we see residents are complying uh, with the stay home mandates, and, and we're also seeing an uptick in testing, an uptick in the results, and also that will allow us not only uh, to analyze data, but to have a better understanding of trends, as well as where our curve is so that we can continue and move forward with flattening the curve. That's what will get the economy going. Wake the streets up!